All right, let's discuss the macro environment, cultural and income shifts. In terms of social and cultural shifts in the United States, we see the following shifts that I think are really important. One is charitable giving. While we talk about the millennials being more charitable than previous generations, what we have found from a charitable giving perspective is that fewer and fewer people give money to charities as a percentage, but they give more money. Those that give do give more money. So charitable giving is, is always an issue for social and cultural shifts. And as charitable giving goes down, then, of course, um, the federal government or other, other organizations like churches have to take up some of that slack. Health. Of course, health has become a major issue uh, in the United States. It's all about uh, staying healthy and living longer. Um, there, of course, there is the famous, it's more important to look good than feel good um, concept. Um, appearance is very important in our society and continues to be important in our society. And marketers both need to be aware of that and take advantage of that. Between looking good and health, um, there is a big boom going on in the United States, both in terms of health care and in terms of health and fitness. Uh, the, the idea that, that many of the people who live, uh, who are Generation X individuals, are part of the me generation where everything is about me. Uh, that's an interesting idea and a cultural, um, uh, a social, a cultural idea that, that's important. Uh, the interest in the natural environment and green products, while we talk about this a lot, um, a lot of green products have not been very successful over the years, but there appears to be a new interest in the natural environment uh, uh, going forward. Of course, most recently, the United States has decided to um, pull out of the, um, the Paris Agreement, which is something that talked about um, the, um, global warming and protecting the natural environment. Changing roles of women in society in the workplace. Of course, you know, in the 50s, the role of uh, the, the uh, women's roles were thought of as being um, uh, moms and running the local ho the, the household. Of course, those roles have changed over time. And now we see that in many places in the country, um, women are on equal footing with men in terms of society and workplace. But as we say that, there is always more work to be done in this area. But the changing roles of women in society and workplace certainly has an impact on how companies market to that particular gender. Despite uh, that there is a desire for product quality, uh, both among millennials and baby boomers, there is a focus on product quality over quantity. Uh, and of course, the idea of baby boomers, Generation X, Notch Babies, Millennials, etc., all have different social and cultural beliefs, um, and they probably then need to be marketed to differently. And of course, there are changing values, attitudes, and lifestyles among all of the U.S. population as we move forward. In terms of income, I have a, a, um, an income distribution chart here from MyBudget360.com, which shows that um, the top five percent of the people, um, top five percent of the of the families in the United States have incomes over one hundred and sixty six thousand. So, if you wanted to be in the top ten percent of family incomes in the United States, um, you would need to be at one hundred eighteen thousand. Uh, for the top um, uh, one and a half percent, you would have to be above two hundred and fifty thousand. And to be in that top one tenth of a percent, it's one point six million dollars. There are some key takeaways from this. That is, first off, the top tenth of a percent of Americans are making more than twice what the other 99.9% .9 of Americans are making combined. And the top one-tenth of one percent of Americans control more than twice as much wealth and power as everyone else put together. And what we see is the income disparities widening over time instead of narrowing. Uh, the idea that uh, the middle Americans and you know the middle class families and those folks that ha that have um, incomes in the middle class tend to be um, tends to be going away, and we see income distributions that are much wider than in the past. Income, of course, is an important macro factor since to be an exchange partner, you need something to exchange. <music>